Now we're looking at the side control attacks, reverse arm bar. Starting off in my position. So far we're doing Americana or Kimura, depending on what side the head is, right? I go for my attack, but maybe I get my grip, but the guy's really strong. Some people can really straighten out their arms. If he wants to go from Americana to Kimura, look what he has to do. He has to take his thumb and go straight up to the sky and then bring it towards his body, right? If I don't have control of him, he'll get that. But if I have control, but he's a big strong guy and he forces his arm straight, what I'm gonna do is keep control and look what I do. I slide my elbow or my forearm under his elbow. As he turns his thumb to turn to the Americana position, I trap his wrist. Now from here, I'm just gonna push his hand to the floor over my forearm and lift my elbow a little bit. It's basically just an arm bar, just over my forearm. One more time. From here, grab my tight position, scoop up the head. I'm attacking the Americana like normal. I go to grab it, but now he's super strong. I can't get him, uh, I can't stop him from straightening his arm. So I follow with my forearm to under his elbow. I like to trap the wrist in the, the thin spark because like the person's wrist is fat here and then when they turn, I can trap it. Now when he tries to turn his arm again, it's hard. I grab the wrist, push his arm to the floor, lift my elbow a little bit. Reverse arm bar. That works both ways by the way. I can be in the Kimura, right? And now he can straighten his arm here, right? Same thing, I ride it up, push it to the floor and tap. Okay, sorry. So either side it starts. It doesn't have to be top to bottom. It could be bottom to top too. And that's your three attacks from side control.